Hey guys, it's Pope. I have a great video for you guys today, a much requested one on my channel. I am going to be giving you guys my warm up routine that I do for the snatch. So today I'm going to go through start to finish what I do, everything for stretching, warming up, activation, and getting into my bar warm up with the empty barbell. Before I get started today, I have an exciting announcement for Barbells and Bows. I have some new colorways coming out in the Strength from Struggle line in the skull design. So if you want to get your hands on one of those, they're coming out any day now, hit the link in my description and sign up for my email list so you'll be first in the know when those come out. Ready to jump into my warm up now. Today I'm going to be working on triples in the snatch. I'm gonna go hit the foam roller first. I spend one to two minutes on the foam roller and I'm mostly focused on loosening up my quads and especially my IT band. I get some pain on the outside of my knee when my IT band is super tight so I make sure to get some rolling down on those and then also into my glutes. Then I spend about two minutes on the bike just going at a super easy pace. I have a stationary bike that I found on Craigslist for like a hundred bucks. Great investment. Next thing is leg swings. I do eight each direction on each leg, forward, sideways, and then forward again with a curl to warm up my hamstring and to lengthen out my quad a bit dynamically. Now I'm moving on to couch stretch. I like to do it in two different variations. One that is really focused on lengthening the hip flexor and the other variation where you're leaned back sitting up tall which really stretches out the quads. I spend about 30 seconds in each style on each leg. Next, I blast my arches with a lacrosse ball. You just throw it on the ground and dig your arch into it and roll it around a few times on each side. Up next, I don't really have a name for. I'm doing an ankle stretch and I use a five kilo plate to help lean into the stretch and put the weight forward. I've had five ankle surgeries during my gymnastics career, so my ankles are very, very tight, and this is a really important warm up for me. I am holding each side on this stretch for about a minute. Now I'm going to be doing some squats with that same five kilo plate. I'm doing all of this barefoot to work on my ankle movement. On these squats, I'm working on the triple flexion, which is hips, knees, and ankles all moving together. And I'm trying to prime that barefoot before I put my lifting shoes on because squatting is easier with that heel elevation of the lifting shoe. So I'm working on good mechanics before I even put those on when it gets a bit easier. Next, I do this band exercise that really helps warm up my lower back and hips. And I did actually a full YouTube video on this exercise and rehab stuff for a back injury. So if you're more interested in learning how to do this one specifically, you can head over to that video. Now I am going to start working on my upper body warm up and I do most of that with the crossover symmetry. First, facing the wall, I'm going to be doing the row and reverse fly. One is elbows back and one is keeping your arms straight out to the side. Then I use the bands that are down low and do what's called 90-90, which is elbows back rotating your shoulders with your wrists up and then back down and that is a direct movement that's found in the snatch so that's a really important one 
Then I turn around and do what they call scaption. It's basically like starting with your arms by your side and then reaching straight forward. Then also do an incline plus, which is kind of like a push up. And then you do the plus, which is the scap portion of it, reaching extra far at the end. I finish with the victory, which is straight up behind your head, which resembles the finishing position of the snatch overhead. In competition, I obviously don't have this rig set up on a wall, so I substitute these same exercises with a TheraBand and just hook it around a squat rack. It's not quite as good, but it gets the same effect almost. Last thing I do before I get on the bar is some band work. We're doing monster walks first, forwards, backwards, sideways, and then also some air squats. I do the monster walks with a band, like booty band. Any of them will work. I got mine from my PT, not really sure what brand this is. And I put them around my ankles for the monster walks. And then when I do my air squats, I wrap it around right at my knee. All of that warm up and activation takes me about 20 to 25 minutes. I am a retired old broken gymnast. So I probably have more old injuries than the norm and it takes my body a little bit extra to get going. <laughs> but now I am ready to get on the bar. I like to do two rounds or sets with an empty barbell. My first set is going to be some stiff legged deadlifts and then I'm going to move into some basically upright rows to mimic the top of the snatch pool with the arms. Then I like to do a few no contact muscle snatches and some air squats. The second set I like to do just empty barbell snatches, so that's doing the snatch from the knees since you can't really start from the ground without any weights on, but doing about three full snatches with the empty barbell. Now I am primed and ready to go to start my snatch workout.
enjoyed this video and found it helpful and hopefully you can apply some of these warm-up techniques to your own routine. For me, it's super important on my snatch workouts especially to be nice and warmed up because it's a full body movement and in my opinion, one of the hardest exercises there is. You need your upper body and lower body working in unison, so you have to have all of those joints warmed up and ready to perform. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel, and I will see you in the next one next week. Bye, guys.